Ugh. So, I knew it would come to this. The day I'd have to talk about Dunkin' Donuts again. This is not only something that my fans have been requesting for a long time, but it's something I've always wanted to talk about. The secrets have to be uncovered. This is the Duncan Iceberg. So, this is the iceberg in all its glory. Created by you slash deleted on Reddit, who I have to give a special thanks to, they touched on every detail and every possible nook and cranny I could have wanted to cover. Let's start off with the top section, shall we? The sky. The sky's first notch kicks off rather innocently with dairy. Dairy is a product from various mammals that inhabit this planet, such as goats, cows, and various other creatures that really shouldn't produce milk, but do anyways. Duncan's varieties happen to be milk, skim milk, and cream. For coffees, lattes, whatever you like really. Getting intense, I know. Now this is where the iceberg really starts to open up. Employment is the next notch on the list. And what employment is, is the exchange of money for services that you provide to a business, a written agreement. The tip of the iceberg. So for all you horror fans out there, this is where the scary stuff starts to take place. Light and sweet is a phrase commonly used by customers to indicate that they want their cream and sugar upped by one. Like if you hear a medium hot coffee, which would normally take three cream and three sugar, and they say light and sweet, that would mean four cream, four sugar. Absolutely terrifying. Keep your pants on. Oh man, here we go. Shots versus swirls. These are the flavors that we put into our coffees at Dunkin', the shots being the unsweetened flavors and the swirls being the sweetened flavors. It's a very common misconception among customers that for every shot, there is also a swirl to match it, which sadly is untrue. If there's a mocha swirl, there's got to be an unsweetened mocha shot, right? No. If anyone has any pictures of any mocha shot out there, I do not want to see them. I will put in my two weeks in, I swear to God. This is the tragic story of upselling. So, Michael J. Upselling was broken inside from his wife leaving him, and he decided to try and make customers spend even more money with their order, no matter how much it was, by offering them a different product they most likely didn't need. This is the point of no return for Dunkin' Donuts employees. After they have reached this point and they try to sell you some sort of product along with your actual order, you know they are broken inside, and there is no coming back. <laughs> the middle of the iceberg. Moving down a tier, we start with pink and orange. Now, these are the two bright, happy colors that normally represent Dunkin' Donuts itself. But, if you're a smart person and you actually look at the facts, you'll notice that these two colors are not on the rainbow themselves. This is because these were the two associated colors with the CIA experiment Bass Kink Rob Bend. If I may call back to the notch of upselling in the previous tier, Six Donuts Better Deal is a phrase commonly said by the employees of Dunkin' Donuts, trying to get you to spend more money than you actually need to, as Four Donuts is $5.16, and Six Donuts is $6.79. Please don't let them get away with this. They can't do it much longer. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that old announcer, guys. He was planning on retiring soon anyways, so that's nice. Slightly lower on the iceberg. Oh, this one's the one for all the freaks out there. The egg donut refers to a delicious confectionery, a specialty donut only sold on the interplanetary chain of Dunkin' Donuts. It was a very popular treat. And everybody loved it, until all the tables and chairs of the interplanetary chains got infected by an unknown virus and they all had to shut down due to health reasons. Very tragic, but informative. The hatching refers to a very strange case at Duncan. You see, there's this donut called the plain stick, also known as a plain crulla, if you're an old fart. Someone happened to get one of these donuts one day, and when the person got home with the donut, it burst open in their hands, revealing tons of throbbing eggs. It was a truly disgusting sight. 
And of course, Duncan tried to cover this up with everything they could, offering the customer a $5 gift card and seeing if they would accept it for covering up the story. This is most likely the case why it's your first time hearing about the hatching from me, although I was able to scrounge up this tiny piece of video footage from a data wafer I found way back from 2015. 15. Even deeper on the iceberg. The Yoda croissant refers to a pleasantly surprised customer when they got home and saw their sandwich. <laughs> hey guys, doesn't that croissant look like Yoda a little bit? <laughs> Reverse the curse has a long ancient legacy in Tibet, where the Tibetan monks used to try and cure the people who were afflicted by the terrible plague of upselling, where they would chant to them, Reverse the curse! Reverse the curse! And see if it will work or not. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's run rampant across Dunkin' Donuts in the nation, which is very sad to see, but at least I found this image of some pins that were sold with this branding on it. Nice. The bottom of the iceberg. Well, here we are. The final tier of the... Huh? What? Oh, shoot. The almost final tier of our Duncan Iceberg. Starts off with a nice, happy little mustard mistake. Some customer ordered a jelly donut and was very surprised to see it was full of mustard. <laughs> what a silly mistake. By the way, this image is not real, it's just an actor portrayal of a mustard donut. Ariana Grande was born from a donut is based on a rumor that started back in 2016 that Ariana Grande was born from a donut. I provided a happy little illustration to demonstrate the concept. Ariana Grande Ariana was born from a donut. Ariana Grande was born from a donut. 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 The abyss. Finally, after all this time, we've reached the end of the. Well, how many more of these are there? Okay. We've reached nearly the end of the iceberg. And this one starts out with coffee. I searched it up on Google, and I couldn't really find anything relating to it, so you'll have to figure this one out for yourselves. Sorry, guys. After that mystery of a last notch, Duff and Daigles was meant to be a sister location to Dunkin' Donuts, if that wasn't obvious enough. Sadly, they couldn't get a business license and get their feet in the door, because Daigles are not a real thing to sell. The... Uh... Abyssier Abyss. Okay, now, this notch. I actually have to do a little quieter. If you know anything about the famous... If you know anything about the famous TikTok star, Charlie D'Amelio, do not say anything about her to a Dunkin' Donuts employee. They will immediately start chanting the phrase, All hail Charlie, randomly throughout, their, throughout your order. It's very freaky. I've seen it myself, and I have this clip to show you of it. I actually got it on tape. Now this next tier I'll just refer to as the Sweet Treat Tier. The Sweet Treat Tier. As both of the notches listed here are inexplicably connected with one another. The Legend of the Gold Donut being a random button seen by very few people on the old Dunkin' Registers that said Gold Donut. And while one donut is $1.29, the Gold Donut only costs 99 cents. I have no images. I have nothing about this. I'm sorry. The Roy Donut is, however, a much happier story in which there's a button on the new Duncan Registers that says R R Roy Donut. <laughs> the 
Well, my friends, this is the end of our Duncan Iceberg journey. The final tear to end all tears. It had to be something special. And I hope this is worth it.